Hello. All right, first thing we do, check, make sure the container is locked. Get out, finish adjusting the ramp. Now you're gonna see it's off a bit. However, with a little bit of force, be able to pull it onto that. So, winch, let's start pulling it and push it. Now we're on, hopefully the camera is picking that up. So now we want to lift up a bit. That way it's not dragging on the driveway, digging in on those boards that we put. Let's start pulling it up. Get it up a little bit and we'll take out our 4x4 blocks. Go to the other side, grab them. You'll see no marks on the driveway. That's the whole point. Now on the back of my truck I have some 2x10 cheaters, however Probably won't need to use them in this case. We'll start bringing it in. If it's heavier, we'll kind of do that earlier, lower it down. But this one, yeah, we'll use the cheaters. So I created these cheaters or cut these cheaters because you'll see if I was to put this down, even though especially you didn't see it in the video I'm sure, but most of the weight they load it in the front um, to try and get kind of max capacity out of this dumpster. But what that little cheater that I just added is going to do, instead of having a backup underneath it, which you can see the truck, I'm at an angle. So if I back up, it's gonna change the angle. The dumpster's not gonna wanna go up properly. Um, so by adding the cheaters, we can simply keep rolling. And just to show you, You know, if I put it all the way down, you can see there the dumpster is still, the weight isn't on the rig yet. So, and this is with all the weight in the front. And we are very close, but we're still still not there so with these cheaters I can now move my um, other board underneath if I step back you should be able to see right all the garbage and debris back there so you can see I mean it's mostly household trash so it's pretty light and now we don't need a lot just enough probably another foot if that um, this is where the wireless controllers come in key so just like there there's kind of the tipping point of the weight um, see so now all the weight is on the rail system I'll usually keep it up because now if you let off the weight of the dumpster is keeping tension on the line if you put it all the way flat we're at a little bit of a, an angle downhill you'll actually the dumpster will roll forward 
and it will put a bunch of slack in your cable, which will cause you issues. The spool will actually kind of unroll a little bit, so we get it all the way in. Now we're down. You can see I already have a set of boards on here, so the other set and the cheaters I'll grab now and basically throw them in the bed. <coughs> these boards would go on my little board wrap mount on the side it's not gonna fit so let's throw these in the back One thing I do have to look at sooner than later is to cut this light rubber a little bit and once in a while it'll actually fall out but I caught it that time so now we got the dumpster on next thing our tarp That's where the auto tarp feature comes in handy right now you'd be climbing up on the dumpster or getting a ladder out spending probably five minutes trying to jimmy that thing on and then the final touch are our safety straps these are DLT required so I bring these out Pull them on, kind of pull it hand tight. The other side. And again, these are DOT required. If you're not doing this today, Eventually, you get pulled over. Maybe they let you go if you play, you know, the I didn't know card. Um, but uh, very rarely will they do that. All right, so straps are on, tarp is on, um, boards are in. I do have a, yeah. Old breaker bar that broke. Um, I don't do this all the time, but just to give it a little. This can's pretty light. You know, can get another two, three clicks out of it. And then we'll be good to go. That cable will kind of loosen up a little from bouncing. this back and then we'll get in it's a little busy side street here so gonna adjust trailer brakes again this is something you kind of have to get used to because it depends on the size of the can the weight everything that's probably fairly light load I'm gonna guess it's not even gonna be a ton um, Get out just because these garbage cans are actually in the driveway, so 
put them back. And actually, I didn't want to swing wide because I knew I was going to have to get out. But now I'll put my seatbelt on. You can see kind of my camera, hopefully. But I'm actually going to back this thing up a little because. I think I stepped in dog crap. I can smell it. But now I'm going to swing wide because otherwise I'm going to cut across. It looks like this is like a condo. So it's like a, you know, split, split home. So this way we don't uh, get any complaints around our work, right? The neighbor didn't rent a dumpster from us, but neighbor sure can reach out on Facebook or uh, Google whatever platform and leave us a negative review so I'll turn my four ways off I'll turn my automatic lights off which that's what powers my camera so that's off and I'll actually turn the screen off now because this is the only uh, pickup that we're doing tonight and uh, I yeah, appreciate everybody tuning in. I wanted to kind of do a quick video around picking up a dumpster and, and what that looks like for anybody looking to get into something similar. Uh, dump trailers are a lot quicker. You know, you have to tarp if you have the tarping uh, roller, but I mean, that takes a minute um, to drop, drop it onto your hitch. Um, hook up your safety chains, power, all that stuff, pick up your wheel chocks, you're in and out in like two minutes. Um, the roll-offs take a little bit of time. I can't say, you know, how much faster a hook lift truck is. Um, I can only judge based off of the videos that I have seen. So, um, but that gives you an idea. You know, if you were to do say three or four of those a day, um, you know, the length of this video pretty much is how much time, you know, it takes. Unloading it is very similar, um, similar process. You know, you got to take the straps off. It's just everything in reverse. You don't have a tarp on. Um, and you just go from there. But I appreciate everybody tuning in. If you have any questions, comments, post them below. Otherwise, I will catch you on the next one.